Hello to everybody, your crazy mining channel today. I'm going to tell you how to overlock S9 machine. Right now we are on Sega Market, so we are going to our marketplace. There I'm going to overlock uh, this machine and uh, show you step by step manual how uh, you can do it yourself. So, right now we are going to overlock S9 machine that is in our office. This one, as you see, it's like 30.5 terahash, and we're going to overlock it uh, up to 16.5 terahash because we using this power supply. As you see, this uh, this power supply 1,800 watt. Okay, what should you know about our firmware? Our firmware helps to overlock S9 between machine up to 20 terahash by using low power mode as it is. Second, this firmware helps to identify dead motherboards on your machine. How it works? When you install our firmware on your machine, just any machine of S9, it shows frequency of chips on all motherboards. And if of some of boards frequency uh, of chips is too low or hash rate of machine is going down uh, after overlocking it means this board is dead so guys right now we are on uh, end miner administration uh, panel just standard firmware from bitmine so we are going to overlock uh, this machine right now so if you see right now it's showing uh, around like 30.7 uh, tera hash uh, and uh, we're going to overlock it right now. What should we do? Uh, we need to go to administration panel system. Also, I want to say that uh, all uh, S9 models can be overlocked by this uh, firmware. So we're going to admin panel system, then upgrade. So here, uh, before downloading this firmware, uh, we should uh, uncheck uh, keep settings, remove the mark, it's very important. Then select the file, locate and select file and uh, install it. We, we just already pressed flash image and we need to wait around 120 seconds. So I also want to tell that uh, the maximum achievable is 20 tera hash, but uh, for this hash rate you need uh, more powerful uh, power c consumption, around 2500 watt. Uh, with like uh, uh, Bitmain's power consumption, uh, you can uh, overlock it up to 16.5 tera hash. So sometimes when you uh, upload firmware. You can uh, be experienced uh, 440 error. The only thing that you need to do is like uh, the clear URL here and uh, hit Ctrl F5 or enter to reload page. Right now we can wait around like 20 seconds, then I will reload page. Our firmware has already installed. We had some problems because. Uh, uh, S9 machine has changed his uh, IP address. I don't know why, but sometimes it happens. So if you experience uh, with the, uh, that kind of problem, so you need to check uh, IP address of your machine one more time. So uh, after a firmware is loaded, go to minor configuration and uh, click save update you have just made to your minor. So after saving this update, you need to go to uh, mining profiles. In section of mining profiles, you can now set up. You can now set up uh, or adjust your ASIC acceleration level and apply other settings you need. So here, present. So here you can set up uh, level of overlocking. Uh, just choose which hash rate do you want for example right now we will choose 16.5 uh, tera hash and after that don't forget to turn on ASIC boost uh, low power mode so after 
After that, you need just to click save, save all settings. It needs around five, uh, it needs around like one or two minutes to restart uh, S9 machine. Our uh, S9 machine is already restarted, is already reboot. So here we can uh, see chain frequency on each board. Uh, here also sometimes uh, our firmware shows uh, orange uh, uh, color uh, chips and red color chips. It means that uh, these uh, chips are, how to say, a uh, little bit dead or has some problems. So our firmware just uh, can optimize this frequency for all chips. After uh, selecting profile and uh, turning on ASIC booster mode, so you need to go to chip autotune uh, configuration so here you can see our firmware just downscale red chip and uh, downscale orange chip and also it restart machine every three hours uh, uh, after choosing profile you can uh, you cannot change here anything by yourself it's already like uh, changed uh, and set it automatically i want to just also make an important note that after applying uh, after applying uh, settings, uh, the ASIC need about one and a half hour to tune chips for the optimal performance. During those one and a half hour, ASIC might reboot from time to time. This is naturally normal. Right now, we can go to minor status. As you see, right now it's showing like around 16.6 terahertz. I hope this manual was useful for you. If you have any question you can contact me by telegram messenger or write me on my email like links are below so also I want to just uh, make uh, one more important note before I finish this video sometimes uh, tuning of chips can continue for a long time so the only thing that you need to do is just to disable ASIC from the power just for a few seconds after you can just turn it on one more time and in 90% cases the problem uh, will be solved so second solution is lowering chip frequency I hope that this manual was useful for you so like subscribe and uh, comment in below